Please welcome one of the Breakthrough Prize founders, Anne Wojcicki, and actor and humanitarian, Orlando Bloom. Working with DNA, I've seen the beautiful complexity that makes every one of us unique. A single error can cause so much harm, though. But we live in a moment when fixing those errors with gene therapies is becoming possible. And that means we live in a time of hope. Hope lies in dreams, in imagination, and in the courage of those who dare to make dreams into reality. Those were the words of Jonas Salky, whose breakthrough work with the polio vaccine changed countless lives. Our next laureates, too, have made dreams into reality and kindled new hope. February 6, 2013, this beautiful little girl came into our world, healthy, happy, kicking. Around 13 months, all hell broke loose. Her crawling became more labored, couldn't barely hold her head up. Emma Larson is a type 2 SMA patient. Spinal muscular atrophy is a modern neuron disease. Eventually, patients get muscle weakness and paralysis and respiratory failure, and it could be very life-threatening. You were holding at one point a few months back what you thought was a happy, healthy baby. Now you're almost handed a death sentence. Frank works in biotechnology where, you know, they fo their focus is on drug development. Very quickly after learning about the disease and learning about the molecular mechanism, I, I thought this is something that we have to work on. He called me up one day in 2004 and agreed to start collaborating. My lab, we've been interested in a process called RNA splicing. It's uh, understanding the basic workings of the cell and how genes function. And our initial collaboration was how to use antisense technology to modulate splicing in ways that might uh, have therapeutic benefits. Within some time after that, we began to focus on spinal muscular atrophy. Adrian is doing a lot of the basic biology behind uh, the, the project, and we were doing work uh, to better understand how to deliver the drug. Oh my goodness, look at you! Are you standing like a big what our technology is based on is designing small pieces of nucleic acids, and they're designed to bind to the RNA uh, intermediate molecule and modulate it. And, and that's what we're doing for SMA is we're, we're altering the function of the RNA so that it makes the uh, protein that we want it to make. Since she's gotten that first injection, not only has the disease stopped, but she's gotten stronger. Yeah. We're not just stabilizing the disease, but they're actually improving. This is my first experience where I've worked on a drug that had this big of an impact on a patient. It still brings tears to my eyes. It's a miracle. In the film, you just saw a wonderful family whose lives have been transformed by Dr. Bennett and Dr. Craner. Please welcome Emma Larson, her mother Diane, and her father Matt. Thank you. On July 22nd, 2014, our daughter was diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy. SMA is the number one genetic killer of infants. Doctors told us there was no treatment or cure, so basically we were going to watch our daughter slowly get weaker and die. On her second birthday, we enrolled her in a trial. There was hope. On December 23, 2016, the drug created by Dr. Craner and Dr. Bennett became the first FDA-approved treatment for SMA. 
Thank you both. Thank you both for your continuous years of research. Thank you for the sleepless nights working on this drug. And thank you for the time spent away from your family to save ours. With science, there's hope. Thank you. For the de development of an effective anti-sense therapy for children with degenerative disease, spinal muscular atrophy. The Breakthrough Prize for Life Sciences is awarded to Frank Bennett and Adrian Craner. Thank you so much for this great honor. While we are here tonight to celebrate science, including the basic and applied research that gave us an effective drug to treat spinal muscular atrophy, we must not forget the tens of thousands of SMA patients around the world who do not yet have access to this treatment. This must change, and I'm certain it will. But for these patients, every day counts. Thank you. I'm extremely grateful and honored to be recognized as a co-recipient of the Breakthrough Prize. My wife, Paula, deserves special thanks for her support for over 30 years. I would like to acknowledge the patients and their families, such as the Larsons, who have participated in our clinical studies. They are my source of inspiration. Drug discovery and development is very much a team effort that requires a healthy ecosystem of basic and clinical scientists drug hunters and developers and regulators to transform a dream into reality. Thank you.